आवाज नहीं आ रही है आवाज बंद रखी थी अभी अभी चालू किया ओके फॉर्मूला इसका है व्हेन द इफेक्टिव लेंथ ऑफ द सुपर स्ट्रक्चर इज ई एंड द ट्रंक दैट मीट्स द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ सब पार्ट डी ऑफ दिस पार्ट दैट इज वन लेंथ ऑफ द शिप द करेक्शन विल बी वी बोर्ड विल बी हाफ एच एस so that is basically when the effective length of the superstructure e and the trunk is less than 1 l the minimum freeboard may be corrected by subtracting the percentage of half of the standard superstructure height h s which is determined by e by 2 l into 1 plus e by l e is your effective length of superstructure Divided by 2l into 1 plus e by l into 100. Now, if you have want to deduct your freeboard, this will be the correction of superstructure. And if your height of superstructure, the standard height of superstructure, say, uh, will be uh, your combing height, hatch combing height is equal to or more than your standard height of superstructure which is as per your table then that will also be considered the hatch combing will be considered as a trunking now for your trunking correction your reduction can be done provided your trunk is at least as strong and stiff as superstructure it has got no opening in freeboard deck or in the way of trunk except very small excess openings that is for escape the hatchways and combings which meet this requirement will also be considered as a trunk they should be having a permanent working platform floor and aft with guard rails they should be provided with fore and aft access between detached trunks and superstructure by permanent gangways there should be at least 60% of the breadth of ship in any vent in your in any in way of your trunk be at least 0.6 l in length superstructure if no superstructure provided then the trunk should be at least 0.6 l in length so then your correction of trunk can be done otherwise if you have a superstructure then the superstructure correction will be done as per this formula now we come to shear profile and then we'll do for bow height so shear is basically upward curvature of the freeboard deck in four and a half direction now with your shear you are having greater reserve buoyancy at the ends so whenever your ship dives into heavy seas it is going to come up fast second point it reduces water shift on deck because your forward shear is twice of aft of shear it reduces the risk of forward deck being submerged after collision and thus improves survivability in damage conditions and helps maintain acceptable angle of heel at which the progressive down flooding can take place now your tabular freeboards are based on your standard shear profile measured at seven equidistant stations so you have got various stations you will have a shear profile at the stations and the process is based on simpson's rules which you have done in stability area of estimation is applied separate, uh, separately for the shear measurements from aft perpendicular to amidships forward perpendicular to amidships to produce measures of effective shear aft and forward respectively if you have a standard shear this is your white white one is standard shear if your shear is reduced then your freeboard has to be increased if your shear is increased this one then your freeboard can be decreased so that 
that will depend on the formula i'll just come to that formula anda pehle samajh lo agar share badhega reserve buoyancy will increase so your free board can be decreased but if your share is decreased then your standard then you can have progressive flooding and also there your free board has to be increased तो ये जो स्टेशन बने हैं दे आर गिवन द फैक्टर्स एंड ऑर्डिनेट्स इन एम एम तो इतना ज्यादा अगर आपको करना है तो आई फाई में आपको भेज दूंगा वो आपके लिए बहुत ज्यादा हो जाएगा डन इन सिमसन रूल तो शेयर प्रोफाइल एट वेरी फॉरवर्ड हाफ एंड आफ्ट हाफ के स्टेशन बने हुए हैं आफ्टर पोपेंडिकर एल सिक्स फ्रॉम आफ्ट पोपेंडिकुलर एल थ्री अमेड शिप्स then l3 from forward perpendicular l6 from forward perpendicular forward perpendicular and the factors are given and that's your standard pro shear profile ye standard shear profile ke conditions hai so you decrease with this that means you have to add to your free board or if free board will increase if you decrease from if you increase from this so your free board can be decreased now we come to the last correction which is your bow height ab iske formula ye hai and we will come to these diagrams ye kaise connection aapke hain bow height ke so minimum allowable bow height has to be maintained when a vessel is floating to the summer load line at the design trim so the assigned free board for the vessel must be increased if your bow height is conditions are not met then your free board has to be increased what is your minimum bow height so that is in millimeters measured in the forward perpendicular at the summer water line so bow height is given it by the formula 56 l into 1 minus l by 500 into block coefficient wala hai formula wo usko multiply karenge that is 1.36 divided by cb plus 0.68 and cb cannot be less than 0.68 the condition is that so if the free board length is less than 250 this formula will apply if the free board length is greater than equal to 250 then it is 7000 into 1.36 divided by cb plus 0.68 so if your bow height is less than this then you have to increase your free board so the free board are calculated from considering the previous correction is less than the bow height then the bow height formula minimum will be assigned as a sum of free board so the required bow height may be achieved by including shear provided ab iska diagram jo hai isse samjhayenge how the minimum bow height can be understood if you have a shear or you have this kind of fashion plate on top of your oxen either you have a required shear or you have a fashion plate on the uh, the forward area not the railing but the fashion plate here that is the bulwark on top of your foxel so either you can achieve by including a shear which extends at least 0.15 l from the forward perpendicular that this either it is the bow height is because of the shear extended here or it is by fitting a fashion plate or a raised foxel provided this foxel extends over 7% of l from forward perpendicular so your minimum bow height as per the formula with these two conditions either this or this has to be achieved so either you have a raised foxel or a fashion plate on the foxel 
provided that extends over 7% of L from forward perpendicular to aft, or you have a shear from forward perpendicular to extending at least 15% of L aft. Is it clear or not? Yes, sir. So that's why I did it in detail. So that understanding should not be in problem there for correction. Now, uh, calculation for B type. Mein aate hai. So, obtain your tablet free board. From your table B, so table A for table A hoga, uh, A type or table B for B type. As per your then. So if it qualifies by the 60% or 100%, that is B60 or B100, then A correction lagenge. Correction for tabular freeboard for type B having wooden hatch covers. If the ship has hatchway in position one, that is 25% of L forward. The covers which are not made of steel but made of wooden wood with tarpaulin covers, then the tabular free board will be increased by amount depending on the length of ship. So if you have wooden hatch covers in position one, so your free board will be increased on the table one. Because table one is basis steel hatch covers. Now we come to correction to the tablet freeboard for type B ships under 100 meter length. So if any type B ship is not more than 100 meter length and has enclosed superstructure and the enclosed superstructure, the effective length does not exceed 35% of ship's length. Then the freeboard will be increased as per this formula 7.5 into 100 minus L into 0.35 minus E by L in mm. This will be increase in freeboard. A shorter vessel is likely to pitch more and make, make uh, when it makes way through water and such presence of superstructure for and up becomes more important in minimizing the amount of water shipped. So longer ships over 100 meter length tend to pass through the waveform and thus the pitch will be less. So that's why this correction is for not more than 100 meters in length. So the tablet freeboard does so far type B basic freeboard now has the same correction as applied previously for type A to obtain the assigned freeboard. So plus you have to apply this and the rest will be of type A. Type A ke jitne lagaye the, wo sare lagenge plus ye lag jayenge. For type B. So for less than 100 and for wooden hatch covers plus whatever was for type A. TTS में देखना तुम लोगों का टिम्बर है कि नहीं? टिम्बर तुम लोगों का है कि नहीं? टिम्बर का वैसे आता नहीं है कोई। तो कराऊं टिम्बर के नहीं कराऊं? टिम्बर तो कभी आया नहीं है। थोड़ा जल्दी में करा देता हूँ। हाँ तो शॉर्ट में करा दी। no, short में कराते हैं। फटा फट करो। इसमें डिटेल इतना नहीं करा दे। अभी आया नहीं। I've not seen any paper for timber. So timber load lines have the special timber minimum minimum stability criteria only applied to vessels which are loaded with timber on deck. That means the timber condition. 
तो नॉर्मल वाटर लोड लाइन लिमिट द ड्राफ्ट ऑफ अदर लोडेड कंट्री टिम्बल लोड लाइन का फ्रीपोर्ट कम होता है एज इट इज ये आपको बताया हुआ है तो स्पेशल कंसिडरेशन फॉर एप्लीकेशन या will be ship must have a foxel of at least standard height of not less than length that is 0.07 l jo aapka wo tha fashion plate wala and it will the ship is less, uh, less than 100 meter length shall be fitted half with either a poop or not less than standard height or a raised quarter deck either a deck house or strong st uh, steel hood so that total height is not less than the standard height of enclosed superstructure db tanks mein db tanks within the midship half length of ships are to be water tight launch in subdivision to minimize your loss of stability due to fsc bulwarks they will be fitted with permanent bulwarks at least 1 meter in height especially stiffened on the upper edge and support two strong by a strong bulwark stays so that your bulwark mein there will be freeing port Uh, of sufficient guard rail and stanchion at least one meter in height. So storage requirements will be opening and weather deck where your timber is stored should be securely uh, secured and battened down. Ventilator should be efficiently protected against damage. Timber so should extend over the entire available length of the weather deck. There should not be any limiting superstructure or aft end. Timber deck cargo should extend at board ship as close as possible ship side. Allowance to be given for obstruction like guard rails, bulwarks, and provided the gap thus created the side does not exceed four percent. जो हमको जो हमने पहले बताया था for superstructure, the gap created the side should not extend four percent on the ship's bed. That was also for the superstructure. Timber should be stored as solidly as possible <coughs> to at least the standard height of the superstructure, other than raised quarter deck. When within winter uh, seasonal zone, the timber should will be stored so that no point throughout the length does not does the height of the deck cargo above the level of weather deck exceed one third of the extreme breadth of the ship. Deck cargo should not interfere with the vessel's safe operation, including access to steering compartment. Uprights, when required by nature of timber, should be adequate strength considering the breadth of ship. Strength of the uprights should not exceed the strength of the bulwark, and the spacing should not exceed three meters. Strong angle should be provided to secure the upright. so the securing should be proper maximum height of the cargo of weather deck should be 4 meter height uh and the vicinity of lashing should be to the height of 4 meter and below the spacing should not be more than 3 meter at the height of 6 meter above the spacing and not more than 1.5 meter intermediate height should be in linear interpolation now when your length of your timber is less than 3.6 the spacing between the lashings should be reduced so timber deck cargo to be distributed to avoid excessive loading with respect to vertical distribution effect of wind healing losses uh, the weight down low down increase in timber weight caused by water absorption and icing so the summit uh, freeboard is calculated as ordinary assigned freeboard but an alternate percent of superstructure deduction is applied in the freeboard calculation so the table 30 sir regulation that is modified by substituting percentage given the table in regulation 45 it is an alternative correction that causes the difference between assigned freeboard and the summit freeboard wherever the benefit is given to the timber cargo being additional effective superstructure because this gives the reserve buoyancy now these are stability criteria the damage stability criteria for the damage stability criteria yeah. 
स्टेबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया जो आप लोग स्टेबिलिटी में पढ़ोगे अब लोड लाइन सर्वे पे आ जाते हैं तो कई बार आप क्वेश्चन आ जाता है लोड लाइन सर्वे कैसे होती है तो ये लोग इनिशियल सर्वे रिन्यूअल सर्वे एडिशनल एनुअल सर्वे एंड वैलिडिटी विल बी फाइव इयर्स एनुअल सर्वे विल बी प्लस माइनस थ्री मंथ्स यू कैन एक्सटेंड द पीरियड ऑफ वैलिडिटी बाय एन एप्लीकेशन इन केस योर शिप इज नॉट कंप्लीटेड वॉइस देन as for special consideration you can increase the validity by 3 months now for your preparation check that your access openings at the ends of enclosed superstructure are in good condition all dog slams hinges should be free and greased gaskets and other ceiling uh, arrangement should not show signs of perishing that is cracked rubble and show your doors can be operated from both sides and show your door label like to be kept closed at sea should be in place check all your cargo hatches and accessories are weather tight now for your lower line one thing to consider is whatever is above your weather deck is weather tight whatever is below your weather deck or upper most continuous deck is water tight so your hatches will be tested for whether tightness or not water tightness so your securing devices which we have talked of quick acting cleats the wedges and clamps should be in place should be well greased and adjusted to provide optimum seating ceiling between your hatch cover and compression bar now one thing about your gaskets for your hatch cover suppose your gasket is hardened and has to be changed so the minimum length of chain should be 1 meter and not less so replace perished rubber seals as necessary on the gaskets post test will verify your weather tightness check the efficiency and securing of portable beams for wooden hatches ensure your hatch boards are in good condition and steel bindings are well secured minimum at least two tarpaulins to be provided for hatches which have wooden cover because that will provide some waterproofing locking bar and side wedges to be in place in good condition for wooden hatches inspect your machinery space and opening on exposed deck including your skylights Check the manhole covers on the freeboard deck are capable of being made watertight because they are on the freeboard deck, so they have to be watertight. Ventilator openings to be weather tight. Sounding pipes to be weather tight. Air pipes to be weather tight. So air pipes will have permanent means of closing. Inspect your cargo ports below your freeboard deck. they will be water tight and show your non return valves are on overboard discharges are effective
you have side scuttles below your freeboard deck or to the spaces with enclosed superstructure must have internal watertight deadlights or you have to inspect the deadlight seals rubber seals and securing arrangement because this is watertight check all your freeing ports are they open or they have shutters if they have shutters then the shutter should not be jammed hinges should be free pin should be non corroding check your bulwarks and guardrails to be in good condition check your lifelines ensure they are in good order rest and repaint your deck line load line plimsoll mark draft marks and all to be repainted on the day of survey ensure international load line certificate associate documentation or exemption certificate are in place sufficient manpower should be available your rigging of staging ladders to allow your surveyors to view your load line and draft mark so the staging and ladder should be approved your load indicator should be operational that time and your stability data book should be available for inspection So that is your load line survey. Now we'll do what is an enclosed place and 